Hey, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at some specific microphone settings that will potentially help you get rid of some noise in your broadcasting software. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to be taking a look at some microphone settings that will potentially help you get rid of the noise. Now, disclosure, these settings aren't going to get rid of absolutely every bit of noise because we're on the software end. We had a hardware side as well of all the settings that I'm going to show you. They will enable you to kind of kill pretty much any noise that's out there. We're going to be using things like noise gates, compressors, things of that sort. Now, the settings I'm going to show you aren't the settings that are going to work for your microphone. There is no one good setting for any microphone out there. So that's just a little bit of disclosure for you guys. Don't use the settings that I use. You're going to want to fine tune these things yourself, but I'm going to show you how to fine tune them. All right, guys. So to get your microphone settings set up properly, you're going to go to where, wherever you put your microphone in. I named mine mic. I named mine mic. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the microphone, the microphone. There we go. And you're going to be brought up this list of options here. Now I set mine to whatever the source is that it, the microphone audio is coming from. So, so guys, I use whatever interface or mixer I'm using here. This is going to be my Sound Blaster K3. I usually just set it and it translates to every single scene that you have. So that's that's kind of an important step in setting up your microphone. So we're going to click done. So now that you have your interface set, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump over to setting up the filters. And this is the part that's going to essentially kill most of the background noise. Granted, you're not going to kill all of it because the, the settings that we're going to use and just the nature of microphones, they're still going to capture audio no matter what. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click like we did earlier and you're going to go to filters. And as you can see, I've already got some filters. Before we get into all of this, you can have VST plugins. If you know what those are, you probably already know all of these settings. So you don't really need to watch the rest of this video. We'll get into plugins later because that's a super advanced option that you can get. But for now, we're going to focus on gain, noise suppression, noise gate compressor that's that's the top four that you want to focus on so starting with noise gate noise gate is basically it, it's when your mic opens and closes the circuit when i'm talking right now this is open it's hearing everything it's still going to pick up a little bit of background noise if there is but there are other things that we can put on top of that that will kind of suppress the noise anyways for now we're going to focus on noise gate i have mine set at negative 62 decibels closing and opening at negative 39. now the reason for that is because i have a deeper voice and i really want to be able to capture my voice the way it is but i also want that i also want the gate to close pretty quickly to kind of combat that background noise now you got to be careful with a noise gate because if you set it too high or low, it can get really choppy and make your voice sound bad, and it'll start cutting your voice off. So I kind of set mine to be a nice smooth roll off at the very end of the closing threshold. So negative 62 and negative 39 works for me. This is going to vary depending on your voice, guys. And not everybody has a deep voice. You're really going to want to play around with this and watch the meter down here. That's why they have this here. You're going to want to watch that meter and see when it closes. Now, moving on to gain. This is your gain tab. Normally, you don't really ever need to add extra gain because you can control the gain through your interface, but I add an extra four decibels of gain just to make my voice sound fuller. And that's usually done on most videos that you watch. That's usually done on most streams that you watch. It boosts your voice and makes it sound a little bit fuller. I mean, you can play around with it. Some people like the extra added gain, some people don't. It just depends on what you, your preference. All right, guys, now let's move on to the uh, compressor here. Uh, I really don't ever use a compressor. I prefer using a compressor at the hardware level, and I'm actually trying to get my hands on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain what a compressor does. A compressor is basically taking the noise floor of the top and the bottom and doing the median of the two. It still keeps your dynamic range, but it kind of keeps everything on a level standpoint. So you know when you're doing like something really intense or there's like a jump scare or something like that. Like you scream on stream, like you do something crazy. You just pulled off a 360 no scope or something like that. This keeps the listening experience pretty uniform. So the yell isn't going to be overbearing, but you still kind of maintain the enthusiasm of what just happened on screen. It's a kind of an important thing. I don't use it because I really want a hardware level compressor. I do believe they're better than a software. Now you can use both in tandem, 
you gotta be careful, you don't wanna kill your dynamic range because that's what makes your voice sound pleasing. I don't really ever use a compressor in software. I am gonna get one on hardware, but it is good to use. You spend some time here, and if you fine tune it, you can really dial it in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to noise suppression. This is the fourth filter that you can use in SLOBS or open broadcasting software without using VST plugins. So the noise suppression, this is not necessarily needed for everything. If you're using a dynamic mic, don't really ever need to use this. This might kill the background noise when the gate is open. I'm, I'm kind of playing around with it just to see how it sounds. You don't necessarily have to use this though. So basically what this is gonna do is kill any of the noise under 25 decibels. So you kind of here have to gauge where your noise level is at. So if you have a low hum down around say, 40, negative 47 decibels or whatever, you can kill it. The main two that I personally use is noise gate and gain, and it's worked pretty well so far. Um, you can barely hear, I have, a, I have a daughter, she's actually in the background playing on her tablet right now, and you probably can't hear it in this recording. There you have it. If you guys really wanna dial in everything, this is just kind of basic, bare bones stuff. It's usually mainly for starters, but if you guys really wanna kill all of that background noise, this is how you do it. So guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you did not like this video, please leave a dislike. But really, just leave a like. Just hit that thumbs up button. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for viewing. If you want to check out my stream, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, all of that fun stuff. Be sure to hit those links down in the description below. If you want to check out True Gaming, they have a ton of podcasts on the, their Twitch channel. We've got a lot of events and stuff upcoming, like charity events and things of that sort. So definitely check them out on Twitch. You can see my face on there as well. And if you want to follow them on all of their social media outlets, be sure to do so and check out their website. We've got some cool stuff happening within the next couple months or so. So that's the best place to find out as well as joining our Discord. But like I said, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Hope this helped. Why shadow out.